I'm drinking my morning tea, and what pops up on my radar? These GMO apples are here in the U.S. I told y'all about these in 2013. Y'all didn't want to listen. Now they're here. What's up, everybody? It's Meech. Welcome back to Fitness Radar. Now, I just got this radar alert about these genetically modified apples. On Friday the 13th, they, they officially made it um, legal, or they're, they're going to officially put them out here in the United States. They're going to be called Arctic Apples. Now, if you didn't see the video that I put up in 2013 about this, because apparently they're saying that they wasn't here, but I had one, and it's on camera. I had it in the fridge, and it wasn't turning brown. It was sliced open, and it was there for like days. So, there's been a lot of talk. It's officially here, and... The issue is uh, they're messing around with the genes so that they don't turn brown and they don't do certain things. And there's a lot of speculation whether this stuff is, is going to be healthy or if it's safe for us. Now, of course, the government, they're like, yeah, it's okay, here, take it, whatever. Because the issue is they want it for cosmetic reasons. The agriculture and the, 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 the people who are selling apples, they want it for, you know, they want it to look good, to look pretty. There's always issues when you slice the apples, it turns brown. But you can take apples and put um, lemon juice on it. You can take certain things to kind of slow the browning down. But realistically, we've been doing this forever. We're living with it. It's not a big deal. Now, you want to start modifying genes, twisting and bending stuff and molecules and, and come on. There's no long-term testing on whether this stuff is going to be um, healthy or not or whether it's going to affect us in the long run. That's the problem. You have a lot of people on one side saying that it's okay. You have a lot of other people say that saying they're skeptical and there's no real long-term search. So um, the main thing is it's going to be no turning brown when they're sliced and bruised. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Yeah, okay. That's not the issue. The issue is, are we going to be healthy 20, 30 years down the line? They've already done things like papayas, um, corn. So a few months ago, they put the genetically modified potatoes in effect, so they're out there. My thing is, why do we really care if they turn brown or, they, or not? We, we, man, we chopped the apple, the, the, I keep saying apples, but the potatoes. Why do we care if they turn brown? We eat them. We don't lay them out for cosmetic, make it look pretty. We don't care about that. The technical aspect is they're messing with the enzymes and the cells and all that. We don't care about that. Um, the Department of Agriculture says genetically modified crops does not pose a threat to other plants. So what? Does it pose a threat to us? What they're saying is the, the, the regulation is if it's not posing a... a um, a threat to the other plants and the other species and other stuff like that, then it's okay. You can do whatever. You can put it out. It's okay. We don't care about no other plants and species. We're worried about our species. Is this going to bother us? Is it going to affect us? Huh? But no, there's no testing on that yet. So they're using us as test dummies, okay? That's what's basically boiling down to. Now, they're going to be called Arctic apples. And there's, there's debate on whether they're going to put... Um, the different titles on them to let you know which are which. You know, if they're, if they're modified, if they're not, if they're, if they're the ones that don't brown, whatever. They're saying, um, it, well, if you do that, you're going to put a stigma on them. Yes, there should be a stigma on them because we should know what we're buying and we should know what we're putting in our bodies and we should know if there's real testing, if it's safe. Who cares about a stigma? We do. <sighs> let me breathe. Let me calm down. All right. Now, there's going to be Granny Smith. And some other things. I don't know what that means. I just know that they're going to be out there. Granny Smith, I don't know if this, if that's a, a brand. Listen, I don't want them personally. That's all I need to know. They're out there. I don't want them. Okay, so it's going to be a few years before they're widely available. Because what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to give the seeds out to the, to the certain amount of crop growers. They're going to have to plant them, grow the trees, do whatever they do, and then they're going to make a certain huge amount for um, basically for samples. And then the people can figure out if they want to sell it once they try it and this and that. And then it's probably not going to actually come out in his stores until um, 2017. So it's still a few years down the line. McDonald's and Gerber are saying they sent letters out saying that they are not going to use those apples under any circumstances. Uh, some other companies are saying they're going to use them. Some are saying they're still looking into them. Okay. Whatever. I think they should go away. Now, my question is this. 
a lot of things, not just this stuff, is, is not being put out in other countries. Other countries are straight up saying no. We're not doing this. We're not putting this stuff out. We're not making it available. We don't want it. Why is the U.S. the only country like, yeah, hey, just take whatever. Hey, just do it. You don't want it. Take it anyway. It might not be good because we didn't test it, but hey, 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 take it, take it, take it. Yo, what's that about? It has to really be just about money and they're concerned with themselves, not about us. Now, if we don't concern ourselves with us, that's a problem. If you don't concern yourself with yourself and your safety and your health in the long run, can't blame them. You got to blame yourself. And if you ignore what I'm trying to um, tell you right now and you don't look up this information and do further research, research for yourself, then you're doing yourself a disservice. Because whether this stuff is good or it's not, we need to know. At the moment, we don't know. So, before I conclude this, stop this rant, um, just to let you guys know, certain things that they genetically modify, they take the genes from other creatures, other whatever and they splice it into these things with the apples they're not doing that they're just suppressing whatever gene that it does have that causes the enzyme to turn and cause it brown so there is a difference but at the end of the day it's a problem look into this stuff for yourself and yo I don't even want to talk no more alright now I'm gonna keep it real with you I don't usually eat apples so in the long run, this ain't really going to affect me too much because I don't eat them. If you know people that eat them, if you eat them, because a lot of people do eat apples, please take this link and share the video and let people know what's going on because you need to be informed if you're an apple eater. Check the link in the description. Read it for yourself. Let me know what you think. The last time I posted something about this, um, a lot of people had a lot of things to say. A lot of people knew a little bit more about this than I did. So if you know something about this, let me know. Till next time, stay focused, stay fit, stay informed, people. Please hit that like button because I'm working here. I need that support. Hit the like button. Do something. Do something for me. Do something for yourself. Do something for the world, people. Till next time, I'm going to say it one more time. Stay focused, stay fit, hit that like button, and stay tuned and find out what pops up on my radar next. My father was an alcoholic. I don't know what demons he was fighting, but I do know I have my own addiction. I'm addicted to iron. I find myself sometimes wondering if I can ever get back to my teenage weight. <laughs> That's virtually impossible and I think that would be crazy. In my 30s, I don't think I would look good at my teenage weight. Embrace the weight I say you look really silly, That's okay? So just don't go there because I will go, go crazy on you right now. Go. You need to do the six month checkup. Every six months I check up on my husband. I check his phone, what? his voicemail. Yeah, that's a whole other subject. If you don't in. have that trust between each other, 